Hello everybody, we're going to do veins and arteries today of the upper extremities. We'll touch a little bit into the thoracic region, but only a couple of them there, and uh, only a couple of the big ones. We're not going to touch up on anything too, uh, too little today. We're going to focus on the big guys and uh, hopefully uh, give you a better understanding of some of those blue things running throughout your head, shoulders, and neck today. Uh, let's begin with the shoulder and neck. Okay, so... The good thing about the, uh, the the veins here is that they're symmetrical. So what's on the left side is going to be also on the right side uh, as well. And we just put a different word on the front, either left or right, and from the name of the vein. So uh, another thing to remember is that when we talk left and right, it's it's in perspective to the patient. So when I point over here for the left and over here for the right, it means the left and the right. Uh, respectively. So let's begin with, uh, no, no, one more thing. Uh, blood is going to be traveling this way. Remember, veins are going to be going to the heart, not away from the heart. We're going to the heart, so blood is going to be traveling this way. Deoxygenated blood this way, and then from the arms coming up and then down. And it's going to be going right through this big structure right here, which is the superior vena cava, which is one of the three uh, locations that deoxygenated blood is going to come in through into the right atrium of the heart and uh, it will start circulating from there. So superior vena cava, that's where all of this is coming down to. We're going to work, work our way up and branch on the right and left sides, which is the brachiocephalic vein, the left and right brachiocephalic vein, uh, right here and uh, this, this guy right here coming up, which is going to branch off into the jugular veins. Now the jugular veins are on both sides and there's two. Of them. There's the internal and then the external. Here we have the left internal jugular vein, which is this thick vein going up and down here along the neck, and that's true on on the right side here as well, the left and right internal jugular vein. And then if we go farther out from the brachiocephalic vein, uh, more lateral, we have the uh, the external jugular vein, external jugular vein, the left, and then the right external jugular vein. Now both of these, um, well, you, I'm sure you've heard of the jugulars. If you, if you get cut right there in, 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 your, in your neck, and you're going to start bleeding all over the place, and hopefully someone is brave enough to come in and try and close you up before you, uh, before your blood pressure lowers too much and you lose too much blood and Hopefully, you can get some help before you die, but uh, hopefully a lot of people don't run away out of fear uh, if that happens. Let's, let's not talk about that. Okay, let's, uh, let's talk about what is more lateral to the external jugular veins. This here is the subclavian vein. Subclavian vein, on both sides you have your left subclavian and your right subclavian. Remember, clavicle. That's the bone here that's, that's just right above your pecs, the clavicle. It's that hard, hard, weird shape thing right right here along your chest okay that's your clavicle the subclavian veins it's lying right beneath the clavicle all right so this actually from from the image if, if you can tell here's the neck this is going to come down and then the arms are going to be on uh, either end there so the clavicle would just be right here right above that vein okay so let's uh, let's just uh, let's let's throw that all together in a, in a more simple way to understand. So all this nonsense is going to be the same thing as this, except for this middle stuff, uh, which we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, here, this little tree branch thingy, we have the superior vena cava, which is going to branch from the uh, right brachiocephalic vein and then the left brachiocephalic vein, which is going to br branch off on either end, the internal jugular veins, the left and then the right, and then more out from that, we have the external jugular veins, the left and the right, and then the left and the right subclavian veins. Okay, so it's it's really not that complicated. It's pretty nice that it's symmetrical, and uh, uh, we can we can happily make our way towards the top of the head. As soon as we talk about this stuff here, um, this is one of the smaller things that we'll be talking about uh, in this region of the veins. Okay, so here we have this, this brown structure is the thyroid gland, which is located in your neck, and uh, we have a few veins uh, draining 
deoxygenated blood from the thyroid gland. We have the inferior thyroid veins, and then the middle thyroid veins, and the superior thyroid veins. And those those are just going to be uh, branching uh, like a like a little web around around the thyroid, and it's just going to be picking up all that deoxygenated blood, and it's going to come here. Uh, most of it's going to drain into the internal jugulars, and it's going to shoot right back down to the superior vena cava, which is going to go down into the right atrium of the heart, and it's going to make its way back to the lungs and back to the heart again, and then flow throughout your systemic arteries. And maybe uh, at some point in a red blood cell's life, it's going to come from here and then make its way back uh, many, many times throughout the day. So this is the... These are the veins of the shoulder and the neck. Granted, there's there's a few other ones, but we're just focusing on these for now.